Hi everyone, welcome to 5 minute video clip contest. We are team Hawkeye, a group of undergraduate students from Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology. In this video we will talk about our project the aerial warrior. Such a small insect, yet it carries one of the deadliest diseases on earth, Aedes aegypti. A mosquito famous for spreading viral dengue in human body while feeding on human blood. Each year an estimated 390 million dengue infections occur, resulting in up to 36,000 deaths around the world. In a study, it is predicted that more than 85% of the population in Southeast Asia and Latin America would be at risk of dengue by the year 2030. Fogging, traps, mosquito repellent and harmful chemical spraying have felt miserable in controlling dengue. The reasons behind are absence of structured data on dengue breeding areas, randomly choosing the fogging locations missing the risk zones and not following proper timelines. To battle dengue in an efficient and effective way, we have integrated drone technology with artificial intelligence. In our proposed solution, our drone operates automatically and discovers potential dengue breeding areas with its camera through onboard image processing. Then it sprays biological insecticide to control Aedes mosquito population. One of the most important tasks for our project is to process image and maneuver the drone. To do this, we had to face several challenges. First of all, the existing public dataset for mosquito breeding area like MBG and others do not represent our surroundings well. We need our drone to recognize potential dengue breeding zone around us. Secondly, a large model takes much time to give output mode. For solving the problems, we have collected images and built our own data. We have gathered more than 1000 images by ourselves. Then these images have been annotated using a website address as rowflow.com, specialized for dataset building. For better accuracy, we have added more images by manipulating collected images. This method is also known as augmentation. We have done random flipping, rotation, etc. for this transformation. For augmentation, we got almost 3000 images. These images have been trained with a popular deep learning model called Single State Detection Mobile Net V2. It is well known for the accuracy and efficiency. We fed this model 300 by 300 images with three color channels. These images are passed through convolution layers one by one. This layer extracts feature from the images and shape decreases after each operation. This animation visualizes the workflow of the model. Ultimately, the shape becomes one by one by 256. After each operation, the output goes to the certain block which do integration of all these images. At the final stages, the model suppresses non-maximum values so that it can come up with a bounding box. Now the problem is to reduce its size and run it on our processor Raspberry Pi 4B. We lowered the model size using TensorFlow Lite. It is a framework developed by Google for deploying deep neural networks on resource-constrained devices like mobile phones, embedded systems, and IoT devices. It quantizes the model so that the model uses only limited size data type. It also fuses mathematical operations and removes the unimportant weights. We ran our Python script in our Raspberry Pi OS known as Raspbian. As you can see, we are in the OS. When the Python code is ran, the object detection mode starts. We have tested our project in different mosquito prone areas like rooftops of residential buildings, roadsides and empty fields. All the time the results have been accurate and the build cost has been minimal. It moves around in a path set up by the geofence. This geofence can be made by an app called Autopilot Mission Planner. This app is famous for autonomous flight control. We can set the geofence here and generate a path for the drone. Then how can the app communicate with the drone? Our flight controller, which is the heart of the drone, can communicate with the app via telemetry device. It can also be connected with Raspberry Pi. We have used Pixoc flight controller. The flight controller itself is a part of complex signal processing and control system. It continuously collects signal from the environment in the form of different types of data and do some processing and PID tuning. Based on the output, the roll, pitch, yaw and throttle of the motor is controlled. That's a lot, isn't it? How are all these things integrated? When flying, if the dengue prone region is detected by the raspberry using our TF flight model, it then holds the position there and matches the sonar data. If the region is not within 3 feet, it goes down. After matching the altitude, it dispenses the spray. After the work is done, it again continues its mission. While doing the spray, the particular GPS data is saved in a file for risk zone mapping. This is important for the authority concerned for predicting future outbreaks and taking their actions accordingly. We have the design ready for large-scale production considering the immediate needs of our country. That is all. Thank you.